Welcome to the Make Life Your Bitch podcast. I'm your host, Brittany Alicia. Greatness is a decision and your birthright. You deserve to love the woman looking back at you in the mirror. This show is for the purpose-driven female entrepreneur who is committed to only counting the time she gets back up. The woman who is ready to ignite the flame within, find her voice, and use the power of her story to transform the lives of those around her. This is your weekly fuel to inspire you to action, where I'll be sharing inspirational stories, real talks with thought leaders and successful entrepreneurs from around the world, and provide you with actionable success strategies for creating a business you love. I'm a content marketing coach, and I'm committed to helping you as an online creator and entrepreneur wherever you are to turn your dreams into a reality, to help you transform your messaging so you can create a genuine connection with your audience and grow your income online. You are far more powerful and stronger than you will ever imagine. We are the warriors. You were born for this. Let's make life your bitch. Hello, hello. Welcome to the Make Life Your Bitch podcast. I am your host, Brittany Alicia, and it is week three of the Road to 10K Challenge. And today we are talking about repurposing content. So that's the focus for this week. Each day, I am going to help you create one type of content by using one piece of content, like one idea and just going deeper and deeper into it. So there's two ways that you can do this is you can actually identify your big topic and then work backwards or you can move forwards. So to give you an idea of the focus for this week, it's really important that you have a signature system or a plan in place of how you get someone the results that you do. So you've heard me talk about this a few times, but when I talk about a signature system, what I'm saying is if you have a course, for example, the modules of module one, two, three, whatever it is, usually it's between six to eight big modules is how you get someone to the result that you are showing them how to get, right? Um, so for myself, if I was to think about, you know, the clarity, confidence, connection, clients, consistency, those also are broken down into different topics, right? Or different lessons. So if you were to purchase a program where it talks about modules and it talks about each lesson, the lessons are just the steps that you need to make sure that you've taught someone in order for them to achieve the result of that module. So creating a signature system is just really identifying each step that you take someone through in order to get the result that you promise. Um, Another way that I describe my signature system is niche, identifying what it is you do, dream client, who you help. So who you help, how you help them. It's the confidence of believing in yourself that you can actually get people results and that you can actually turn this business into from a hobby or like a lower ticket business into high ticket making lots of money quitting the nine to five that kind of thing from there it's helping you create content so I talk about signature system with ladies in the first two modules and so for me with Make Life Your Bitch Mastermind, um, I actually have four private calls that I do with women when they first enter the mastermind. And so I've shared this in the past um, few episodes, how um, I don't like doing one-off programs. So example, just a program based on content, because if I only talk about content, but you don't have your niche or your dream client, actually narrow down the content that you're creating and that you're putting out people might not be connecting with it or you might be spreading yourself thin trying to talk to everyone and really you're talking to no one the example I like to give is that if you were in New York walking down the street and there's this empty abandoned building and someone's yelling like hello inside or you're yelling hello trying to get someone's attention from the street people are just going to keep walking right But if you walked by or I was in there and I called your name or maybe you called my name, you're going to turn your head and you're going to look, 
right? And so that's what we want to do with the dream clients is we want to be able to get them to say like, hey, that's me, right? That's my name. That's what I'm interested in. From there, um, after I've showed you how to create that content, it's, you know, different ways of selling and getting people to trust you and the confidence of showing up consistently. So I do four private calls to ensure that you actually have the big pieces in place so that when you're coming into the mastermind, you hit the ground running versus feeling like you're kind of all over the place and that you have to go back and listen to a whole bunch of um, previous like calls and that kind of thing. I actually like to just sit down with you personally and ensure that you have that. And so I do two calls based on creating your offer and your signature system. And then the other piece is the mindset of what has held you back, what is holding you back and making sure that you have a good mindset moving forward and that. So for me in my signature system, those are like the big steps that I have. And then from there, you know, with each thing, it's identifying and making sure that you understand it. So if we were talking about content last week, we talked about different kinds of content. We talked about objections and how to handle objections. And obviously, like I've shared in the past, um, when you invest more money, you just, it just means you're going deeper and deeper into a concept with someone, right? Like right now I'm talking to a wide range of people who are listening, whereas if we were to get on a private call together, it would be specific to you. If we were in the Make Life Your Bitch Mastermind, it's just explaining things deeper and answering your questions and all that kind of stuff specific to your business as well. So it's, you have one system that you do. And of course, there's always the outside things that maybe don't relate. So I always like to say your point A to point B because there's a bunch of other things that I could talk about. So with mindset, maybe I wanted to do a chat around vision boards. Um, You know, that'd be like a one-off thing. It's not necessarily the big steps you need in order to hit 10K months, but maybe that's something that seems fun for me that I want to talk about on the mindset calls. With abundance codes, talking about that inside the mastermind, it's helping you remove like money blocks from your body. That's not necessarily in my big signature system, but it's something else that I do and help my clients with. Right. And so that's the focus around collapsing time and all that kind of stuff, but it's not in my signature system. So you have a signature system specifically to the results that you get. And it's okay if there's other things that you do, but it's focusing on that signature system in order to bring people into your world, right? So with that being said, I want you to this week choose a topic. So it could be the overview of your signature system um, and each big step. It could be just one module and the steps that you take people down in order to achieve the result in that one module. Um, That's another really good way of like, if you have want, are you, if you are someone who wants to create multiple offers, you can have like the big system that you do. And then you can create like one-off programs just based on like the modules as I've shared. I'm not a huge fan of that anymore, simply because I don't like someone to start at sales when they think that their sales are the problem. But if I actually was to sit down with them, I see that they don't have the right content in place. Nobody trusts them and they're just jumping to the sale. So I would just personally rather have people in the mastermind to ensure they have all the steps that they need. And I'm not contributing to the industry problem of people having a million different pieces and not putting them together or knowing how to put them together. So with me, um, I would focus on, you know, whatever steps that I desire. Um, Obviously, throughout this challenge, I'm breaking down each of these modules into different steps. And so the content that I'm creating is focused on the module, right? So this week, I'm talking about repurposing content. So the reels that I'm going to talk about are based on 
how to repurpose content. Um, as a whole, on week one, I was kind of helping you break things down into what it is you do, who your dream client is, that kind of thing. So I'm taking like the big modules and then breaking those down deeper and deeper and deeper, right? So identifying for yourself this week, we are going to talk about repurposing content. So I want you to choose one topic, whether it's the big steps of your program, whether it is a single module or a single topic. And we are going to, I'm going to show you how to repurpose that different ways. So um, let's use week one as an example where I've talked about the engagement ladder, right? And so there's seven steps, six or seven steps I have that through the engagement ladder. And that's the focus of what I'm actually helping you with is those big steps. So I did a podcast episode explaining it in detail, right? Um, I explained it in deep detail as to what each step was. I talked about different kinds of content in regards to that. Like, um, you know, if it's bringing people into your world, growing your audience, utilizing reels, podcast episodes, someone else's audience, um, Facebook group, someone else's Facebook group, clubhouse, TikTok, whatever it is to bring them into your world, right? So the big steps I talked about were the engagement ladder. Obviously now within the challenge, I'm going deeper and deeper into each one of those steps. So the first thing was I wanted to build it backwards. I like building backwards, especially because I struggle with making things, like not making things simple. Like I love analogies and simplifying that way. But I really like to ensure that everyone has all of the pieces. So I like to, I like to actually explain and be like, okay, this is step one. This is what this means. So the podcast, then I would build backwards to email. um, And I could, um, well, actually, what I'm personally doing right now, for example, with this challenge is identifying the podcast episode for the week. And then I broke down each day of what I'm going to teach. And that allows me to create a simple reel of, you know, what are each steps that I want to do um, or talk about. So it's like, you know, I doing a reel on the engagement ladder, pointing at each um, step of the engagement ladder. And that being it, then I can direct someone to the podcast Um, to learn more about that. Or I could then do a carousel. So maybe the next day, I want to do a carousel of each one of those steps on each thing and just do a single, um, a single sentence on each step to give value inside of an email. Maybe it could just be that I'm sending them from that email over to the podcast episode. So I could do an email saying like, hey, this week on the podcast, I talked about the engagement ladder and the client journey as to how to really bring people into your world. And I share with you the number one like key piece that you are missing in order to help people get success. And that was like trust, right? And then I'm directing them over to the podcast for me to talk about things even deeper. So that's what we're going to really focus on this week is now that we've you've kind of like been starting to think about your offer your signature system handling those objections now it's taking one of those topics and we're going to go from simplified to deeper so today what I want you to focus on is what is that thing that you're going to talk about and those steps and we are going to move forward with it in the sense of like going simple to deeper um, on each step. If you are someone who is inside the Make Like Your Bitch Mastermind, you are going to be joining me on the podcast um, to talk about your system of how you help people. Um, So obviously that's already in place for you. You have a plan in place of the podcast, like of someone's podcast you're going to be on. 
if you are someone who is maybe wanting to be on someone else's podcast and you want to start looking for that, or it could be not just like someone else's podcast, but maybe you have your podcast and now you want to start talking about that and get that ready for the end of the week. But number one, choose your topic, write down the steps of how you get someone to that point. You can make some notes and we're going to talk about reels tomorrow and each one of those steps till the end of the week. On the next episode, next week, we are going to be diving into different launch strategies. All right. So today was simple. You have your signature system. You have, you know, where people are at when you first meet them, where they are when they're done working with you. What are the big steps that you like take to get them there? Maybe you want to break down the lessons. Maybe you've already done that. And now choosing one of those paths of how you want to help someone and start showing people that you can actually help them break that internal objection of does it like will it work for me by starting to get them some results all right so that is it for this episode of the make life a bitch podcast you know one more thing that i actually want to say before i say goodbye is when it comes to stories doing the personal stuff on your stories, right? Like you build no and like on there. And that's something we're going to talk about on the story day is diving into how it is that you show that you are actually an embodiment of what you help people with. So that could be client results that you want to share in your stories, or it could be, um, you know, just your life, right? You showing people that, hey, Um, I say that I get to spend the day with my daughter. Well, here's images of me doing like sharing the days with my daughter. And maybe you want to do like a, um, maybe it's even a reel of like a whole bunch of those of images, right? But um, I don't want you to just focus on this week, just showing that you're an embodiment. It's like creating that space of this is what I help people with and then also showing that you're an embodiment, which of course is super important. So anyway, like I said, that is it for this episode of the Make Life Your Bitch podcast. For all of you listening, go out there and make life your bitch. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Make Life Your Bitch podcast. If you enjoyed what you heard today, please share it with your bestie. And if you haven't already, subscribe, rate, and review the show on your favorite podcast player. If you have any questions, feedback, or compliments that you want to throw like confetti, you can reach me directly at podcast at makelifeyourbitch.co. Thanks for listening.